You're listening to episode 628 of the Father Bills Podcast. Welcome back. This week, the homily is inspired not just by the gospel, that is from Luke uh, chapter 1, verse 26 through 38, but also from the reading from 2 Samuel 7 and 8, as well as a piece of music that I ran into a couple weeks ago. It's sung by Francesca Battistelli from the album The Story, and it's entitled Be Born in Me. And it does a great job of taking what I call low Mariology to a beautiful perspective. In other words, not that Mary is bad, but that we think of her in her very humbleness and her humility and maybe even confusion as to what's happening to her and what might she be thinking. So I think this song does a great job, at least when I was listening to it in preparation for the homily. So that's what's going on. And at the end, I will also uh, mention how you can connect and, and find this piece of music if you want to listen to it for yourself. So this is the uh, homily entitled Be Born in Me, given on the fourth Sunday in Advent 2017. Today we turn our hearts to Mary. We see in her and this angel Gabriel the culmination of prophecy, promise, and providence. For God desired to create a house for himself in our flesh, a living tabernacle, something much greater than a temple made of wood, stone, or gold, or anything of human design. What a paradox. Mary, who was created by God, would be with her, yes, the mother of God, because she conceived Jesus, who was co-equal with the Father and took on flesh through Mary. She, who was simple and small, would bear great strength. Finitude would bear infinity. She would say yes to the maternal the maternity of a vulnerable babe, a babe who would grow, learn, suffer, die, and rise to save us. She would hold him in the beginning, and he would raise her in the end. She would love him and teach him, and he would in turn teach and love her. And while she was greatly troubled at the presence of an angel, she would become fearless through the presence of her son's passion. In her innocence and youth, she could not see her destiny, yet she would become the first disciple, the one who remained when most all the other apostles abandoned her son. The new Eve, the star of the sea, full of grace and the cause of our salvation. She would be known as the most holy, most pure, immaculate, Our Lady, the Mother of Mercy, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Lourdes and Fatima. Just a girl yet destined to foreshadow the destiny for all who would follow her son. In her humility, she desired not to have the attention, but would become the greatest pointer and evangelist for her son, Jesus the Christ, the Anointed One, the Messiah. And through the prevenient grace of his Paschal mystery, she was saved and became the mother of the church and queen of heaven. Would we be willing to carry Jesus in us? Would we be willing to be living tabernacles for the Lord? Would I allow him to be born in me? 
making my heart a Bethlehem for him to be born in me? Could my life be greater than any tabernacle ever desired or dreamed of by King David? Is Mary the house that our Lord was speaking of when he spoke through the prophet Nathan? Would I be open to the unexpected turns that such an abandon would create? You see, whether we know it or not, Jesus wants to be living, born in each one of us. Like Mary, when we bear Christ in our hearts, when we receive him in the sacrament of the Eucharist, we become living tabernacles. But only when we are open to the grace therein will we allow him to be born again in each one of us, living with openness, charity, and strength to proclaim the greatness of the Lord, not our greatness. For it's not about us, it's about him. May it be done to us as we come to the great solemnity of the nativity of the Lord. May he be born in me. Thank you again for listening to this episode of the Father Bill's Podcast. Well, at the beginning of this episode, I did, I did mention how you can find this piece of music, which I think will be helpful if you listen to it. You'll see the connection between that and the scripture from Luke as well as the homily. And so if you go to YouTube and type in Be Born In Me, you should see that the very first hit should be from Capital Christian Music, the music with the lyrics. It's their official uh, video of that. And it has, as I look at this, 1.6, almost 1.7 million views. So it's very popular if you haven't heard it. So you can be the one, one more person on that 1.6 or 7 million people. And I think it'll be, I think you'll love it. It's very inspirational. So if you have any questions, you can always go to my website. And from there, you can find a connection to my email, which is right on the bottom of the webpage. You can find my Twitter account, Facebook, and Instagram there as well. And I hope that if you have any questions, you'll do, you know, you go ahead and connect with me and I will get back to you. So this ends Advent uh, 2017. And because Christmas lands tomorrow, we actually begin very shortly, within a couple hours here, at least at St. Anne, our Christmas masses. So we're going to start at five o'clock, go to seven and then midnight and then two more in the morning. And so this is as short as the fourth Sunday Advent, Ad Advent can be. It is very short, just a few hours, and then boom, we go right into the Christmas season. And I hope and pray that this will be a time for you to reflect on how Christ is being born in you, that this homily will be inspirational for you to uh, see Mary in a new way and her role in salvation. Again, in the meantime, I hope to hear from you, and may God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs>